back back at it again with another bank of bank of bank. You already know who it is. It's your girl, Brianna. Yeah, boy, Cal, man. Make sure you got like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want to support the channel more than you are now, man, hit that link in the description. Come Patreon. If not, subscribe to a friend to tell a friend to keep running us up. I was messing up a little bit because I was looking Hobson in the eyes and it was messing me up. But my boy Hobson, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to this. They ain't gonna waste you guys' time. I don't want. This will probably be the last song that I'll come out with for a while. I'm sorry to all my fans. You ain't gotta be sorry. Take the time. I always think of Robin Williams, someone we loved and who we saw appealing. He made us all laugh as adults and children. Shit, all the millions that he had. I wonder what were his thoughts and feelings five minutes before the belt that cut his breath off and killed him. Probably something like my thoughts now. What goes up has gotta fall down. I guess I pour it all out, cause right now, the Reaper's in the room visiting. So if I do leave, at least you know why I did it then. It started way back then when I was a kid at first. Niggas bullied me when they saw that I was an introvert. I was never cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt. Every school year, it's like all my issues were getting worse. My whole life, they was calling me corny, stupid. I never had a dad who was there to mentor me through it. Skateboarding was my escape. It wasn't just for amusement. My issues kept reoccurring, so I would resort to music. I'd vent about the burdens that were sitting in my heart. I'd vent about the way I felt from swimming with the sharks. My mom was always working, so our bond was stripped and ripped apart. Ain't no fucking... Ooh, oh my god. Dang, bro, he just spilling on this song, bro. God dang. He's telling the truth. Hey. Cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt. Every school year, it's like all my issues were getting worse. My whole life, they was calling me corny, stupid. I never had a dad who was there to mentor me through it. Skateboarding was my escape. It wasn't just for amusement. My issues kept reoccurring, so I would resort to music. I'd vent about the burdens that were sitting in my heart. I'd vent about the way I felt from swimming with the sharks. My mom was always working, so our bond was stripped and ripped apart. Ain't no fucking family memories. Ain't no pictures at the park. Then I thought world is about to see hell come and i will live the good life everyone else wants and in that moment my tears dried and i felt numb then years later i blew up the mission was well done i don't want it no more i don't want it no more I love his hooks, bro. Them things always just be so nice, bro. Like, I feel like he go. taking me to a different head. Yeah. Hey, facts, bro. Like I said, just got me just vibing, bro. First, I was looking in his eyes and shit. Then next thing, no, I just was like, mm. no more. I don't want it no more. famous people kissing my ass i knew that i was only here because it's revenge for my past it's crazy went from a loser in school who got the worst grades to being praised for all my verses when i disperse rage i copped a whip moved out the ghetto like by haters bought a brand new house with a bunch of white neighbors everyone started calling one like five favors and guess what all of it dealt with spending my paper and i was nice i'd give him cash i'd show sympathy i gave him some him and her i'm just lending cheese now I'm just looked at like an ATM machine If I don't give my friends my money, shit, I'm the enemy I had about a million new best friends that I just met Some were plotting to build me a deathbed All because they kept on putting whack songs out that no one's impressed with So why the jealousy they diss me, you fucking guessed it <laughs> At least I had my squad, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz I knew we stick together stuck in this chaotic biz We had it all figured out, it had a lot to give It was funk volume for life, who want a problem, bitch? Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we parted ways. 2016, those were some of my darkest days. Ask us all, whose fault was it? Ain't hard to say. But it was due to money and all of our bonds that start to fade. Months later, my girl told me she's pregnant. This was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time. Man, it was hectic. And I was scared if she kept this baby, I might regret it. Mainly because her and I had a fucking toxic relationship. Last thing we need is a fucking toddler to raising it. Having a baby is great, but not as amazing when you got two parents who always fighting, hollering, breaking shit. Present day, all my people are gone. No real friends, just leeches around eating the crumbs. No family bonds, no FB, can't be with my son. No fucking girlfriend, I swear I thought that she was the one. I feel alone, and I struggle to give my fans what they want from me. I'm struggling to build this UP company. I'm begging on my fucking knees like, God, please help me, because I can't fucking breathe. I'm trying to smile, but pain is cutting deep. Show me that I'm more than just a rapper. Show me that this life that I've been working on is meant to be more than just a disaster. I hope this message I'm sending.
ascending is floating up above instead of focusing on fame i should have focused on the love i don't want it no more i don't want it no more no more find myself I hope you all can understand man we back here bro I could not stop that bro like I was in it, bro. Like, God dang, man. I got, I got taken to a whole nother dimension. Bags, bro. Like, God like, dang, man. I was in this man's life just now, bro. I was in life at the moment. It's been a minute since I'm just able to just... I don't want to know. Just vibe. Like, know. you know, like, just sit here and just, like, completely forget that I'm even in, in the, doing a video. Yeah, facts, bro. Like, God dang. I don't want to know. No. Like, I got in cap. In cap the video. Yeah, boy. Facts, bro. Like, God Hey man, you know what I'm saying? This was three years ago, bro, but it's still just like for us listening to it for the first time, just like, hey man, I was in this man mind and stuff, bro. Like I was out there, bro. Like for real, for like I said, bro, y'all know we be able to stop it a little bit of song. You can't stop nothing like that, bro. You gotta keep going, man. For real, for it's, real. It's like it took me, like I said, it took me to a whole nother mind space. Like, like I went to a whole nother dimension. Like I was not even here. Nah, man, for real, for real. But hey. Yeah, I'm glad he came back at a certain point. Hopefully, he come back again so we can get some new music. You know what I'm saying? That we're going into because the year, the stuff we're going into now, like a year old, I feel like. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But hopefully, eventually, drop some new. But make sure you guys, dog, like I said, if you want to support the channel more than you are now, man, you hit that link in the description, become a patron. If not, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend to keep running us up, man. We're gonna see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. Devin, peace.